Utah Forge, or Frontier Observatory for Research in Geothermal Energy, is a Department of Energy project funded to generate electricity anywhere in the world. The Utah Forge project is located in Milford. It's about 220 miles south of Salt Lake City in south central Utah. We can drill anywhere in the world and find enough heat. But, but unfortunately, those rocks don't have the permeability, the cracks that allow for, for fluid, for water to circulate through them and extract the heat. So, so the goal of this project is, is to create a reservoir by creating a fractured volume that, that we can inject water into and then extract the water after it's heated up. Well, this, this project is really a first of its kind. It's the first time a project like this is being developed to, to learn how to make a reservoir. At Utah Forge, we are creating a geothermal reservoir where none existed naturally. One of the wells that will be used to create the reservoir has already been, been drilled. This is the injection well. In late 2020, the Utah Forge program drilled a well inclined at 65 degrees to the vertical. Now, directional drilling technology like this has evolved over the last few decades in the oil and gas industry and was adopted for this particular well. In this case, the well was drilled vertically to a depth of about 4,550 feet. At that depth, it had drilled through alluvial material and encountered a contact with the granitic surface. Drilling continued vertically for about another 1,500 feet, at which point the well was directionally steered at about a five degree arc per 100 feet of drilling. Drilling ahead on this curve for maybe 1,300 feet, it reached a tangent of 65 degrees to the vertical. That drilling continued along that 65 degree tangent until the total depth of the well at 10,987 feet. At this depth of 10,987 feet, the true vertical depth of the toe of the well was about 8,520 feet below the ground surface. And indeed, the horizontal projection of this well from the well head to the toe was about 4,037 feet. This well was drilled very precisely within about 50, degree, 50 feet of the planned um, um, endpoint. This well was successful for a number of reasons. First of all, it was a successful application of directional drilling technology to the geothermal industry. Second, a comprehensive logging program was undertaken in an extreme environment. Third, in situ stress measurements were, were acquired. And fourth, um, there was uh, a, a very, very effective workflow between the on-location personnel and off-site consultants at Texas A&M uh, University, which afforded improvements on the fly of BIT technology. BIT technology is one of the greatest achievements of this particular well. So the, the logistics of this well bode well for the geothermal industry in general, whether it's hydrothermal or EGS. This well is, is the first well of a pair of inclined wells. We sometimes call them a doublet. And these two inclined wells will be interconnected by hydraulic fractures and natural fractures that we specifically create in this reservoir. And so what you develop in that respect is a heat exchange system where you'll pump cold fluid down one well. The cold fluid will travel through the natural and hydraulic fracture system that you've enhanced and pick up thermal energy along the way. It will reach the second well, and in the second well, it will be produced to the surface where the heated fluid can be converted to electricity. Microseismicity is an important aspect of 
the Utah Forge program. As a matter of fact, a number of vertical monitoring wells have been drilled and uh, geophones will be installed so that they can triangulate uh, microseismic events that are created during hydraulic fracturing. This, this is a unique project and people around the world are watching this project. People, people recognize that, that the amount of energy we can extract is inexhaustible, it's, it's non-polluting, it, it doesn't harm the environment. This, this is a project that could provide energy for, for many future generations with no harm to the planet.